This video is the start of a series of videos on VPN posture with ICE. I'm breaking them up into digestible portions so I can explain each step a little more clearly. Inside of ICE, there are three main policies to configure for posturing to work. The first is a client provisioning policy. This policy determines what posture agent type, if any, should be delivered or installed on the endpoint, depending on its operating system and other configurable conditions. The next policy we will be configuring is the posture policy. In this policy, we'll define the conditions that need to be met or else how they should be corrected or remediated if they're not. The posture conditions and the requirements will then be tied together in the po posture policy. The last policy we would configure is our authorization policy. This is where we define what access an endpoint should get based on their posture status. Typically, an endpoint with an unknown posture status would receive just enough access to redirect to the client provisioning portal. An endpoint in compliance status would gr be granted controlled access to the network, and a non-compliant endpoint would have its access to the network restricted until they went to a compliant state. So in this first video, we're going to be focusing on client provisioning. Before we jump into that, let's go ahead and take a look at some settings. Let's navigate to Administration, System, and Settings. And let's take a look at client provisioning on the left-hand side. In the client provisioning settings, we can enable downloads of updates to be done automatically. I typically leave this at the default, which is disabled, since it can download a lot of different agent types and versions, which just creates a lot of noise. Next, let's go to Posture and Updates on the left-hand pane. This is where we can set automatic downloads for ICE posture rules and definitions. I would recommend updating it and setting it for automatic updates. This way ICE will know the latest antiviruses, signatures, and so on. Next, we'll take a look at reassessment. Periodic reassessment can only be done for clients that have already successfully postured. When configured, the ICE PSN checks the relevant policies and compiles requirements to enforce on this reassessment. And finally, we get to the general settings for posture. This is where we can set a global remediation timer, monitoring interval, how long to cache a successful posture, and so on. Now we're going to start configuring client provisioning. Before we configure the policy, we're going to need to build our building blocks for it. Let's navigate to Policy, Policy Elements, Results, Client Provisioning, and Resources. For the Client Provisioning Policy for VPN, I'll be using AnyConnect as the posture agent. ICE will need a copy of the AnyConnect head and package file to be able to push the client to users. I'm going to upload to ICE by clicking Add and then Agent Resources from Local Disk. From the Category dropdown, I'm going to pick Cisco Provided Packages and I'll choose my package file from the desktop. After that's done, I'll go ahead and click Submit. Now I want to create an AnyConnect profile. This essentially is a configuration file for key settings for the AnyConnect posture agent. It will be delivered to the client during the client provisioning process and saves us a lot of time from having to manually configure the client on every single endpoint. To create the profile, click Add and then AnyConnect Posture Profile. I'm going to go ahead and name this profile with the name AC-Profile. Scrolling down, we can see some of the different settings. An example of this is we can state whether or not to operate the agent on a non-802.1x network. We can change the remediation timer here. We can enable AnyConnect Stealth Mode, which installs the AnyConnect agent, but it keeps the UI hidden from the user. I'm going to go ahead and enable the Rescan button on here. This will allow me or any of my users to restart the posture scan manually. The AnyConnect agent can also be configured to detect VLAN changes and do a DHCP renew. These are the settings for that. Under that section is the Posture Protocol section. The only requirement that we absolutely need to configure is the Discovery host. At the bare minimum, we need to put at least an asterisk in here or a host name. I'm going to go ahead and just put asterisk. And with that, let's go ahead and submit this profile to save it. The next thing we're going to do is put the AnyConnect package, the ICE compliance module, and the AnyConnect profile together to define it as an AnyConnect configuration. 
To do so, click Add and then Any Connect Configuration. The first thing it'll ask me to do is to pick my AnyConnect package. Since I only uploaded one, that's an easy choice. Then I'll pick the Compliance module, which I only have one of as well. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this as AC Config. From the Profile selection, I'll just pick AC Profile for Ice Posture. By adding that AC Profile to the Ice Compliance module, ICE now knows to install that module as part of the client provisioning steps and which settings to use. And that's all I need to configure here, so I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. We're going to configure the client provisioning policy by navigating to Policy and Client Provisioning. I'm going to go ahead and add a new row. For this client provisioning rule, I'm going to name it VPN Users. The operating system will be Windows All. For the condition, I'm going to make a rule of devices, uh, device type, and firewalls. As for the result, I'm going to choose the AC config we previously created. Now let's go ahead and click Save to save this client provisioning policy. And with that, that finishes our video on client provisioning.